well, arguments about face masks. Um, Arguments about vaccines, kids attending school, they're just rife at the moment. And people are really wrapped up in arguing about them. And you know, there was a time when I remember, and I still do actually, but there was a time when I was very close to that moment when I had been renewed and reborn and refreshed by the Holy Spirit. And I don't know if you've experienced that. But when I think back to those days, arguments about face masks, you know, they were at the the end of my thoughts. They didn't bother me in the slightest. If someone told me that I had to wear a face mask in a, mask in a shop, I'd wear a face mask in a shop. There is a temptation in this day for us Christians to get sidetracked to get completely pulled off the rails that we're on and involved in what Paul talks about in Titus as incessant arguments. I mean, I don't know what was happening um, there for him to write this way, but he says, avoid foolish controversies, genealogies and arguments, quarrels about the law because they're unprofitable and they're useless. For us, we need to fix our sights on Jesus. And now more than ever, when we face times where society, in, in some ways, rightly debates something as simple as face masks, we as Christians, as, as believers in Jesus, as followers of the way, need to just get on board with what we're being told to do to keep other people safe or to um, to just get on with our daily business, to, to take the bus or whatever it is we want to do. Just get on board with that, leaving that debate to the professionals and fix our eyes on Jesus. We should be speaking into um, issues of need where, where somebody has faced mental health problems because of the isolation. We should be there helping where somebody has um, faced a loss in, in income. We should be there helping. This is good religion, you know, this is good, good practice. And we should never cease to preach the good news. And the good news is not that a face mask can reduce or not your, the risk of COVID-19 spread. The good news is that if you were to contract the virus today, well, you have a loving saviour who has done the work for you so that you will be at peace and you will ex um, eventually experience true freedom, even if this disease takes your life. And so during this time, we can do our best to keep other people safe, to protect the vulnerable. Of course we can, but we can on the, at the same time do our best to preach the good news. Jesus he lived for you, he died for you, and he was risen again and now reigns as king. This is such transformational news for us that when we face these kind of controversies in our society, we can navigate them with a single mindedness that doesn't pull us into various anxieties. Are we anxious that we should contract the disease and die? Of course we are, but we remind ourselves in those moments that we have a greater hope and therefore we can continue on some people even putting themselves at risk for the sake of others for the sake of others because we follow the great example the king who laid down his life for us and therefore we don't get dragged into unprofitable and useless arguments i feel quite strongly about this today and not because I'm angry with other people, but because I look at myself and I think, how often am I sidetracked into useless debates? I love Jesus. And because I love Jesus, I want you too to know how much he loves you. And that in the middle of this great crisis that we face, economic crisis, health crisis, societal crisis, you know, society's in crisis. 
Face masks are not something to be debating. They are something to leave to the professionals. And we put our hope and our trust and our faith in Jesus. And as such, we go in the short term and we do good. And we look out for others and we put others above ourselves. Thanks for listening. I hope this didn't come across as a rant because I'm speaking to myself as much as I'm speaking to anybody else. God bless you.